okay people <coughs> today's game plan would be to implement the edit and update functionality in the last view control if you're a beginner and if you're watching this for the first time then you need to cover my previous video otherwise it would be okay as we know in order to work with the list view we need to set up the layout template which is sort of like a outlook and then we need to set up okay so i was talking about in order to display the data you need to have an item template and an alternating template where you bind the database field so let's check one more time this is the layout template as you can see okay this is my id name and a nickname this is what i'm choosing from my database this is a table user database as you can see id name and nickname okay the next thing would be layout template is complete next would be an item template an item template i'm having an id then i'm um, having a label one label two not uh, i mean you know uh, correctly <coughs> mentioned then i'm simply binding with uh, eval using id name and nickname no big deal id name and nickname and the same thing goes for the alternating template as well as you can see i'm having an id binding with uh, id one second the name and a nickname okay so alternate template is completed now next uh, what we like to do is uh, let's first run and see what how it goes okay okay so as you can see i'm having an id name and a nickname and i'm having a bunch of data with me right now okay so that's how we did what we did in the previous video so let's move ahead and uh, let's start with the edit functionality in order to work with edit functionality uh, we need to set up an edit uh, one second edit item template okay then in this i need to borrow something from an alternating template uh, which would be nothing but a very basic stuff what we have okay then uh, we'll make some changes to this okay so label id is okay label id is ok because it's a primary key so we'll keep it as label but uh, what we need <coughs> at the time of editing we need a text box right so let's set up the text box id would be txt name and then uh, let's say run at equal to run at equal to server and instead of using what do you call eval i'll be using a bind bind is a two-way binding so same thing almost uh okay okay and bind uh, and it would be the name okay so binding is completed so okay let's complete it now same thing goes for the nickname as well okay so let's have the correct uh, naming convention txt nick um, nickname okay and this binding would be a uh, nickname and as you can see from the sql server explorer these are the fields which i'm binding simply over here right so i'm gonna run this thing and let's see how does it look like so when you run this application as you can see this was my previous page and this is a current page <coughs> sorry as you can as you can see there is no change at all yes we have set up the edit done in the layout template next thing I need to check in the alternating item template I need to set up the button on which I already written a code uh, if you check the code nothing special button it's edit button I'm setting up and with the text edit and command name the very important property I'm setting up is edit if you take a look uh, in a design mode you can see the alternating template has got the buttons edit okay I forgot in the item template so what I'm gonna do is unlock this button as well so as you can see nothing more change it's an edit button as well now sorry now let's check again the design as you can see my edit is okay now let's run this thing again 
and as you can see now I'm having the edit button on my left column right now if I press this edit button it will throw an exception it will tell me that I need to handle the item editing event of a list view control so let's do that why you need to do that I will explain you later okay so list view come on pop up the properties so we have the properties now in properties I need to handle the item editing event so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to double click on this event so behind the scene in my code behind it will generate an event for me and this would be very easy right what I'm gonna do is LST user dot edit index edit index uh, is equal to uh, is equal to minus one then I'm having a function which is nothing but a load data which actually fails my grid so it is done so let's rerun one more time and check what happens as you can see now I'm having all the bunch of records and I'm having an edit button so let's try that edit it's not working and why is it that let me check I'm sorry. Uh, Dead index. Uh, stop. Actually, I made a mistake. Okay. Instead of minus one, it would be uh, e dot new edit index. Let's run one more time. And now you can see, like, if I click edit, okay, everything is okay. Edit, edit, edit. It works fine. Okay. So let's move on to update. In case of an update, uh, what we need to do is again we need to go to <coughs> the source code. Item template has done alternate template. Okay, and I'm having some copy paste code. One row only, nothing special about the row. It just contains two buttons for me. Okay, so as you can see, there are two buttons. One is an update, one is a cancel, which I'm setting up in the edit item template. Why I need that? Uh, uh, because I'll be doing an uh, update and cancel, right? So what I'm doing is, let's first, you know, comment this cancel guy. I don't need it right now. We're talking about update. So ID is button update, text is update, and important property compound name is update. Okay. So as we know, okay, like when we set up the command name, we need to implement uh, this part what we call an events. If we don't implement, then we'll get the exception. So let's do that quickly. And as you can see, when I'm calling and updating, it generates an updating event. So let's run. Okay. So when you run, so you can see the update button. Okay, something is went wrong. My ID is gone up. Okay. Okay, let me check what just happened. Okay. I'll be okay. TD is fine. Okay. Right. Okay, there was a problem. I need to set up the TD. Okay. And I need to cancel it. So let's control KD and appears to be okay no I don't need this guy right let's run let's check control F5 yes it please reason <coughs> okay so we are back now okay it looks okay there was a problem in the TD, right? TD tag, I which I didn't handle correctly. So I didn't get any exception, right? But I need to write some code in order to handle this update event. So let's think for a while. Okay, what happens when you update? It's an obvious thing you will be updating on an ID, right? So this that's why we have kept this a label, not a text box. These other things going to get updated, so I can change this Leo to you know, let's say I'm on, okay. And if I try to update, it's not gonna work, right? It's not gonna work. So, what we can do is now, in order to update, 
first thing what we need is these values one is id and these two text boxes so how do we get these values there's a key player uh, as you can see it pass it gives you a list view update event arguments so you can check uh, e dot uh, uh, hopefully you can see there's a property called as item index this is a key player using which we can find the find everything so first thing we need to find the id so it would be lst user we are looking inside an lst user inside we are looking for an items within items but i don't know where to look okay so it has given me index so e dot item index now i can say find control now what exactly i want to find okay what i want to find is an id which i'm which is residing in my edit item template why can't I touch this guy okay got it so using this <coughs> I would be able to you know get the ID from the selected uh, column I'm sorry row then where we need a name as well so name is equal to everything same <coughs> we're looking to the list user and the only change would be this guy would be a text box okay okay but uh, this this guy is not a text box so we need to grab that value txt name okay so this would be txt name let's copy this whole thing and set up again and this guy would be a nickname right so let's copy and uh, paste and just change it to nickname so now we have everything right in order to prove I'll do is response dot write id dot to string to string id sorry id dot text right because I have cast it we will now same thing I'll give some space Okay, in order to get the idea how it works, okay. So let's check ID, then name dot text. Then we have uh, nickname dot text. Now let's run this thing. I'm sorry, something's wrong. Yes, let's run again. So when you run it, uh, let's see. I'm editing something okay and when I say update I get the values one Leo and bastard right same goes for this guy I get two gangs and bounty hunter so now we have the values the task would be very simple for us all we need to do is an update right so in order to update what I need to do is I need to say where update results and what I'll be doing is I'll be hitting into the context because context is a guy who is pointing at my dbml one second okay so this is my dbml okay and as you can see uh, I'm having a data model context the same thing which I'm using over here I'm creating instance of that now once I do that the benefit I get is okay so as you can see this is my dbml and i was talking about the benefit part right so as you can see this is my name face last few one and this is the data context which i showed you previously but uh, the benefit i'm getting is i'm i can able the tbl user which is nothing but points to my database right so if i make any changes here over here it will reflect the changes in my database as well so how uh, where was I okay so what first we need to check is we need to check okay whatever ID I'm having okay is that ID exist in the database so we'll say first or default okay mouse okay then we say let's check if that ID matches you know <coughs> with the value equals to ID dot text and as you can see this id dot text is nothing but the value we got from the edit template okay so we have this much so as you can see i'm having an id dot text right 
right so next thing I need to check if the update result is null or not if update result not equal to null if it is not equal to null that means we have the record and we need to update the parameters if the update records is equal to null that means we haven't found anything from the database right so let's see update results it has a properties the same database properties will be changing the name to name dot text name dot text is nothing but as you can see this is a name and that's the name we have cast it as a text box so basically we are getting the values and what we are doing is whatever value we are updating in the text box we're simply reflecting the same thing to our update database view right so update results again dot nickname is equal to nickname dot text okay so we have done that but in order to reflect the changes in the database we have to say submit changes once we do that all done after doing that uh, one more thing we need to do which is a compulsion not compulsion right you know what we need to do is we need to say list user <coughs> dot edit index is equal to minus one then we need to say load data as you know load data simply binds my list to you so let's run and let's check as you can see we are running now let's uh, make some changes okay so we have added an update and let's say this guy is ready to rock and let's update that it was a glass and now it is ready to rock same way if this is a mom and if i make it shrukti and if i update it gets updated lakshman let's say dot net guy let's update update and the same thing it applies i mean the changes takes place in the database as well the only thing remaining is one more thing which is nothing but a cancel button sometimes a situation might occur you know you don't want to update you don't want to update let's say cancel so at that time we choose this cancel button we choose the design and then we choose the properties and simply we need to implement that cancel event if we don't do that we'll get the exception right so canceling yes i have the event let's implement that my mouse is very dangerous copy paste run one more time as you can see the page is loaded if i say edit and if i say cancel things won't i mean I mean gets back to the normal condition if I change Leo to Norman and let's update that only so it is okay but if I say cancel it is returning to the normal state right let's change it to Leo again and let's update so today we have got the idea how do you do the edit and update in the list view in the next tutorial I'll show you something more cool thank you for watching that's all